three, two, one, jump scare. Okay guys, before I start the video, come and join the group if you haven't done so already. I will put a link in the description below because we got some merch out in the store which you can see here. And clearly we have a Discord server which would be really cool. Come join us. Stay awesome. Hey guys, welcome back to another video where today we are in a Rainbow Friends Morph game. That's right, so we've been on this one in the past which is the Rainbow Friends concept. They have released a new colour for us to have a look at. Now, hello Orts. And what we got just through here is a new character. So obviously we've got the the white, the black. We got the fire wind station, which is purple. You've got sinful seas, the old lavender, which I thought was a bit of kind of a, a bit like a bug or an insect, which would go into the water because it's got little fins on it. And then you've got grey just here, which looks very, very similar to black and white to me. So I don't know what you guys think, but yeah, grey looks very similar to them. So maybe it's related to them in some way because, you know, black and white could be brothers or sisters. We never know at this point. They're obviously family siblings because they look very similar. And maybe grey is also part of their family. I mean, what do you guys think about that? And then obviously they've released a million visit special just here which is good fun and then we've got the new version here which is olive and it's got all of the d's in its name so we've got dastardly disastrous demise everything that you don't want to hear if you're trying to describe someone so we need to go and unlock this creature so what i'm going to do in case you haven't unlocked him i'm going to show you how to do so so as i'm running through and you can clearly see we've still got violet maroon yellow lime brown teal and magenta all looking pretty cool and especially the violet i still think Thing. Actually, now we are here, I still think Violet is still going to be a child creature. And potentially, given the head structure and the eyes, I think Violet might be related to Red. Now, I don't know what you guys think, but that's my theory on that. I think it's quite a good idea. I mean, do you guys agree? So what we want to do is head on over down here, and you will eventually get towards the side where you are welcome to Slabville. What's quite cool over here is they have actually expanded the map a little bit. So I thought, oh, maybe when they've now expanded the map, this is where they've uh this is where they're gonna hide Olive. As you get over here, you'd quickly find out that uh, you'd be wrong. It's not here at all. They've hidden it elsewhere. But I'm just going to quickly show you what we go over here, which is clearly like a little park, which you've got all the trees, an open area, and a nice little hedgerow down the middle. And that's as exciting as it gets, really. I mean, I don't know what else they're going to hide over here, but for now, it's just a new area. It's worth kind of exploring. But what we care for is basically hidden behind these houses. So if we creep down the back, and eventually you'll see a vent just here at the back of this building, what you want to do is to head into this vent. Eventually, you'll get in, and you'll be taken to this room here but you see basically a picture here of a creature which we're not sure who it is i mean you could say it's purple or maybe related to purple given the structure of it and how it looks but it's obviously not purple because of the color maybe that is what olive is maybe that's what we're going to unlock but what you see here also is it says they will see now i that's a bit ominous and i don't know what it means but you can clearly see here poor plushy blue has had his head ripped off and that's that's really unfortunate it doesn't send a good sign but given that olive has got the name that we read earlier which is a bit complicated which is obviously not something you want as a name because it basically means that you are very deadly and dangerous and to uh, stay away from you basically which is not what you want for people to kind of think of you so now we've done that i think what we'll do is we'll just kind of reset ourselves back to unlock olive and i can clearly see before i do that we've got i think it's black kind of just roaming around behind the pillar i would say hi but he'll probably attack me so i've just reset myself as you can see because we're now back in the spawn area where you've got all of the different morphs and obviously the one we care for is just down at the end of this corridor as you can see See here, I just need to kind of boot my head into the screen and that's it, we're in. So let's become Olive and see what the fuss is about. Now, straight off the bat, I noticed when we spawned, you got the whole kind of purple T pose as you can see here as I keep jumping and hoping for the best it's gonna show me. There you go. I have a feeling this is meant to be maybe because of like the whole body and the legs. I think honestly, this is gonna be a relation to purple. Now, what do you guys think? Do you agree with me with saying this is potentially a relative to purple? Olive, clearly, as we see here, I mean, the differences I can see straight off the bat is we've got hoofs, I'm going to call them, instead of hands for the legs or the feet, sorry. One eye is the same as purple's and the other one is green. It's got a green eye. I assume it's a... Uh, it is. It bobbles around as he moves. Look, you can literally just see it move around. So he's got one normal eye and one glued on eye. Question is, he has a jump scare. Of course he's got a jump scare. How does this jump scare look? So what I think we'll do is we'll count down to actually utilize it and see what happens. So we've got three, two, one, jump scare. Oh, okay, so straight off the bat, the noise is pretty cool. And he kind of bucks back a little bit to charge up and then pounces on you. I did notice there was no teeth. There's no mouth. So I don't know how he actually captures you. Or maybe he doesn't kill you, but in fact, just captures you and then takes you to purple. Maybe he takes you to a vent. We'll never know at this point because this is all obviously going to be theories because this is a particular character we were not really expecting. So I'm just going to check the jump scare again at a different angle to see what it actually does. 
So it clearly has a long reach. Now, as you can see, I think given how big Olive is, and then as we come just down here, because we've got a nice long straight bit here, I think it reaches to about this point. Oh, not far off. So it literally goes to there. That's a long old reach. That's very similar to purple. Now, you know how purple captures its victims by simply going into the vent and then obviously dragging them in. So you know how you get pulled in. Purple's arms are quite elastic and they stretch out and grab you. Now, obviously, I can see this fellow here is kind of hiding from me and chasing me. So maybe I should give him a jump scare and see what happens. He died! It must have been super scary. So this is obviously Olive at this point. We've unlocked Olive. It looks, it closely resembles purple in my opinion. Now, obviously, we've had a quick look with differences between purple and olive where we've got the long arms, which is the same. The body is the same. The head is basically the same as purple. But the differences are the feet are not hands, but look like hoofs. Or there might be a better word for using it, but I'm going to stick with hoofs. And obviously, there's no, there is a mouth. You can clearly see there is a mouth here, but it doesn't open for the jump scare. But what we can also see is that there is one eye, which is the same as purple's, and then we've got the kind of googly eye as you get with green, which means to me that this one is not real, and this particular character only has one eye. Let me know your theories on Olive in the comments below, because I'd love to know how you think this might be related, possibly, to purple. But while we do that, I think what we should do is look back at the other videos and find your theories. So let's head in and go into theory time. Okay, so for our first theory, we've got one by Adif, I believe that is, this user here, and they say, Theory time. Yellow might be a skinny character that has electric powers, and once it's found its target, it will switch off the lights, and you have 10 seconds to hide in the box, or a locker, or a hole. I think that could be a really cool idea for a particular creature. I really like the idea that it has the ability to turn the powers off or the lights off, because on round, you clearly have to kind of bring the power back up. I like the fact you actually have a creature that can just randomly turn the lights off because it has the ability to do so, and that means you have to try and hide somewhere. Now, I know you said just hide in a box, or in a locker, or a hole. I think it's one of those ones there you have to kind of keep moving i think that would work really cool and make it really exciting for a new creature go into another theory we've got gats boy now i feel like we might have done one of his theories before but i like this one so i want to push it out there and he basically says pink will be hiding in a random locker each night if you go into the locker with pink in it pink will jump scare you the reason i like this is because we haven't really got any creatures so far which will just potentially jump scare you when they're hiding i.e you're running away from blue for example and you're like yeah there's a locker just in front of me i'm gonna go and hide in the locker and then you you actually find out that pink's in there and pink just kind of takes you out of the game it's like one of those kind of insta deaths which you really don't want but it adds a bit more complexity to the game which makes it a little bit more fun because it's got that kind of unknown element to it and i think this is a really cool idea so for the next theory time we've got one by this user here where we've got there has been some updates you missed on rainbow friends concept so obviously we're in the game and it's released olive now they say i've missed gray to be honest just gonna put it out there gray's very similar to white and black i'm curious to see what this jump scare is so i will have a look at that but they're right i have missed gray they're saying now there is olive and basically following on with that they're saying he seems to hate the rainbow friends because he was some sort of mistake he was then left to rot for the rest of his days now he is plotting some sort of plan to destroy the rainbow friends now following on with that we have got here with the badge if i just kind of work my way down you have got it here for olive and it says olive a forgotten member of the rainbow's friends he was a massive failure after his debut he was tossed away forever to rot nobody knew what happened after that and it will now i don't know if there's any more to follow on with that or if it just stops at as it will but i'm just gonna have a very quick check because i'm quite curious to know so we've got a bit more text as you can see over here so nobody knew what happened after that and it will remain a mystery now i like the idea that this olive character here has kind of got a backstory and it does look like now we're here a bit of a test subject i mean granted given the all the other rainbow friends we've got i suppose nicer i mean it in a nice way but they look nicer than this kind of bug-like creature Purple, apparently he's been shut in the vents we don't know if he's been bullied into it or clearly just doesn't want to be anywhere near the others and especially red well this one obviously got created and like we said before he's missing an eye and he doesn't seem to open his mouth so we never know maybe its mouth is stuck shut i mean these are all things we don't know but i like this theory and i like the idea that this is kind of like a rejected creature and we've got it here and the fact that it even has a jump scare just makes it that bit cooler okay this is where we're gonna end the video if you liked it leave a like subscribe if you haven't done so already and as always i will catch you in the next video bye